Okay, first thing you want to do is you want to purchase a Nano Mini. Connect your mini, Nano Mini to the computer. You want to make sure where is it? That your Nano Mini is selected, Arduino Nano Mini, and your port is selected. You want to make sure you open up your code. It will be a notes file or a paste it on file. I'll find a way to put it up for you. Now remember, this is not my code. Credit goes to the person who made it, which is right down here. It's Philly G. Single channel C U K. He created this code. I've been using this code for two or four or five years now. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is open up a notepad or whatever it opens up, edit, select all, right click, copy the whole code. Okay. I'll erase. Open up if you open up your Arduino sketch. What are you gonna do with your Arduino? It'll look like this for the first time. Remove everything you see here. Alright? And right here just paste. Everything should be there. If everything is right. Hit the check mark to verify, and it'll start doing something. Say it wants to save it to the library. Say save, and it'll start doing something. You'll see it as it's progressing. If there's no error, it should compile correctly or we'll upload to your Arduino board. See, it says done complete. After that. You want to upload. So hit the upload. Wait for it to do uploading. Done uploading. That is step one of putting the code in. That's all you have to do. There's no modification, no nothing. You have to do just that. the mess of wires that I have. This is channel 7, throttle, rudder, elevator ailerons. This is the rate switches you'll see on the diagram I'll show you later. This is the plus bar which comes out of here to feed the pots with 5 volts. This is very important. You'll see it. This is the actual how you calibrate it. So basically you plug everything in. Plug all the power in. Make sure everything is powered up. But everything has to be plugged in. All the pots have to be plugged in. You have to have one pot. Two. Three. Four. And five. These, are, these could be switches. It doesn't matter. Switches or pots. So basically you have... Throttle, rudder, elevator, aileron. This could be uh, an auxiliary switch, a three position auxiliary switch. This could be a three position auxiliary switch or a pot, which is what I got here, a slide pot. So you'll have one way down, all the way up, and in the middle. So you have full control of the whole range, like a pot instead of a switch. This switch is just an auxiliary switch. So basically when you throw it, it actually moves real slow till it hits the end. Throw the switch the other way, the servo will move real slow till it hits the end. This is the negative bar, which everything gets negative connected to it. And this is the PPM output from here. So as you can see, I have everything working. That's actually, as you can see, everything moving. This is the switch I told you. Watch when I throw the switch.
it creeps but it's okay it's still useful and these will be the pots or the switches it's okay that's part number one turning it down up and down it's hard to do with one hand there's the other part that's the throttle And this is just the rates. If I turn this pot down, then everything moves real slow. I very rarely use that. I keep that on high. And that's pretty much it. I will show you the diagram, which is gonna everything's gonna go into here. Okay, this is the wiring diagram. As you can see, I showed you these are all the parts. It's all self, it's all labeled. I didn't create this. This was from Philly G. The PPM comes out. Don't worry about that. I didn't put that in there. The PPM minus and the main voltage. This is the voltage which goes to all the parts, which gives it five volts, which is this one here, which is connected to here. Then you definitely have to connect this this switch. This is channel seven. If you don't have that, if this is open, it will not calibrate. So then you can put a switch from the second one here, which is this one, where it says calibrate to ground. Which is basically what I did. So basically I put it to the board. I just use the green for ground. And I connect it to ground. Plug the transmitter on. Once you plug the transmitter on, you have to move each and every single pot. So you have to basically, in all the motions, all around to calibrate it. Left, right, up, down, round. Up, down, left, right, round. The switch, same thing. Through the switch. Remember, this one takes a while, so just let it just do its thing. Let it fold for about maybe about half a minute. Then go to the other side. Then the pots full up. This is the channel pots. Remember, this is the auxiliary one, auxiliary two. So full up, full down, full up, full down, full up, full down, full up, full down. I don't think you have to do these, but I did them anyway. I did full up, full down, full up, full down. I think you you might have to say it knows the range. And these are just the expos and the do rates, which you can leave on full, no expo, or you can do whatever you want. And that's basically it. When I'm done, I will post the code in my YouTube channel. Just copy and paste to Arduino. And you should be all good. Once I finish, I will do a, sh a run through again to show you what I did. And you should have a working transmitter with no problem. I just tested it, did everything works perfect. I already done three. This is one. This is two, and on my YouTube channel, there's another one, a bigger version of this. And they all work fine. I've been using this one for about over a year with no issues whatsoever. Very simple, very easy to carry around. I don't need any of the digital display. I have a really good radio, but I don't even use it. I don't need none of that stuff because it's not really necessary. The drone does everything, and you can do it through the GUI. So... I will keep you posted.